everyone, how's it going? Welcome back and hope you are well. Today I have a very special two-part video series where I have my friend Kelsey on the channel to talk about internships. Kelsey, would you like to introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. I'm Kelsey. I make a channel called Kelsey Makes Things where I make things with code and also make videos on my life in college as a new grad soon. And yeah, check it out if you want. Yeah, there's a link in the description box down below, so please check that out. So the first part of this video will be talking about why internships are important. Especially for those of you who are maybe just stepping into college or trying to get your first internship, we want to talk about the real value of it. Like why should we have internships? Specifically, we're going to cover what can you learn in an internship, a little bit about our personal experiences in an internship, and then also if you don't get an internship, what are some things that you could do during the summer or the winter or whenever to hone your skills and to just become the next best version of you. So the very first thing we're gonna talk about is how software internships can really teach you a lot about yourself. So oftentimes internships are talked about as ways to gain experience and skills in the industry. But really, we think that it's a really great way to learn about what specifically you want. At the end of the day, the tech industry is so wide and there's so many different things that you can do. And internships are a great way to kind of just like sample different things exactly. and just see how they feel. Yeah, so an internship at the base level, this is a great opportunity to learn about life at the specific company that you're interning at. Even more than that, you can figure out whether software engineering is right for you. Maybe you want to go into another related job in tech, maybe something like product management, data science, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many possibilities. You can even learn about whether you want to be in tech at all. You might find that you love tech and you want to stay in this industry forever, or you might find out that this is maybe not what you want to be doing right now, um, and that's totally fine too. Yeah, it's totally okay. This isn't necessarily meant to discourage you. It's just like, not everyone wants to be like an artist, and not everyone wants to be like a builder, and that's okay. At the end of the day, like you don't really know until you try, and being able to sample things and yeah. really just being in there as a software engineer through a three month or six month long internship um, can tell you like, hey, do you actually enjoy doing this? So a question that I often get on this channel is around what part of the tech industry do you want to get into around sectors and domain knowledge, as well as like nonprofits, for profits, enterprises, just There's consumer so products. Yeah. There's so many things. You could probably work on like the Tesla app too, like car things. Like there's just, the limits are endless and sometimes it can be kind of decision paralysis, mm -hmm. but internships are a great way to figure that out as well. Some other things that you can also find out at an internship is what kind of technical problems are you interested in tackling? There are so many different technical fields. Um, within tech, there are there's security, infra, backend, front end, data, etc. So many. Um, again, you could have decision paralysis from something like this, but at least from an internship, you'll get a feel for whether you liked the technical problems you were solving or whether you didn't. You can also learn about what size of company that you're interested in, whether the size of the company that you're interning at suits you and whether you want to be there long term. Um, for me, that was a huge, huge thing that I learned during my internships. I was lucky enough to intern at companies that had tens of people to hundreds of people to tens of thousands of people. Those were the companies that I had a chance to see and it had a huge impact on where I saw myself in the future. And of course, we've just presented a bunch of questions that you can kind of get the answer a little bit to at your internships. But during internships, you can also find out which ones of these questions that you actually care about. Yeah. Um, do you care about the size as much? Do you care about the technical problems as much? Do you care about the domain? These things all have varying impacts on people and how happy they are with their jobs. So at an internship, you can definitely get a feel for that. All of those things, all of these factors can really impact whether you like the job or not. They're all really like small, minute differences that like you can just kind of read stats on, but they are going to really change how you view your work and what brings you fulfillment. And that's kind of at the end of the day when you're looking for an internship, you're looking for that piece that feels like something that you would be really interested in and excited to continue working on. So, so far we've talked about how there's just so many factors that go into an internship um, that help you sample out all the different experiences out there in tech. So now we wanna talk about our own experiences. Also, what are some of the things that we think are really underrated that we can pull out from and learn from in internships? 
So I think internships are super effective in teaching you how to adult. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still getting there myself, but the relationships that you build at an internship are similar, I mean, pretty much the same as the relationships you would be building at a full-time job. There's so many things to learn there around like, how do you communicate with other people on your team? How do you communicate when doing work together? How do you ask for help? How do you build relationships and trust with other people that you're working with? These are skills that are not really taught in college or really anywhere else. And these are some of the really important skills that will start your career on the first step because a lot of your career is determined by who you know and what kinds of relationships you have and how you move through this industry. Something underrated that I learned at some of my internships was that your value is not purely technical. Mm -hmm. um, you learn so much about culture at these companies, especially if it's a small company. People will love for you to take initiative. You're not only experiencing the culture of these companies, you can also help define it. Yeah, and companies value so much of this fresh perspective that interns and early career people as well as just new hires have because they haven't worked there, they're not that familiar with the product and them bringing in their own perspective is awesome. It's another way to improve themselves um, and companies are really looking for that. Side note, the buzzing is from construction <laughs> and we're working through it y'all. <laughs> So another really cool thing that you can learn at internships is learning what your learning style is. Throughout middle school, high school, college, whatever your education has been, there usually is kind of this learning style that may have been pushed onto you, but in internships and in jobs, you can kind of explore how you learn best. Is that through reading? Is that through working on it with somebody else? Is that through just like trying it out and seeing what happens? It kind of serves as almost like a playground for you mm -hmm. to just get your feet wet, try out things, make mistakes, um, um, those are super highly encouraged and it's a great way to get to know yourself like we talked about before. Through internships and jobs, I learned that I'm like terrible at learning from like a lecture style or just reading. I'm really good at learning in a very like engaged environment. Yes, I uh, really. But when I got to an internship, learning that, hey, I can pair a program with somebody and solve something together and that's how I can learn a concept, my learning skyrocketed and mm -hmm. it really unlocked a part of me. And it made me realize like, oh, this is the key. This is how I learn everything else in life, which is so valuable. That's a really rare opportunity to do that. And internships are a great test bed to do that because you're encouraged to learn things. You're encouraged mm -hmm. to make mistakes. You're encouraged to interact with so many people out there. Another thing we wanted to mention is that internships are totally two-sided. You should try to demonstrate the value that you can bring the company. And this will relate to whether you get an offer letter or not. Um, you know, practical things like that. But it's also a way for the company to demonstrate what value it can bring for you. So your mentor or your manager will probably be providing you feedback. And I think it's a rare opportunity, like as a college student or someone who's coming into tech to hear from someone else what they think you could be doing better. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like bringing someone into your own career journey and having them help you, which is invaluable because you're obviously going to have blind spots. There's things that you don't know and getting that insight from other people through a working environment is just so great. Yeah, and even, especially if you're at a school with bigger classes, this can be the kind of one-on-one -on -one feedback that you need to improve your skills. Mm -hmm. So hopefully by now we've like sold you on how important internships are and also how valuable they can be. But also you might not get one and that's also totally okay. It is very competitive and it will just get more competitive. And also if you're maybe only a year's worth of school out, then it's likely that the internships will go to second and third years. But we wanna also just talk about like, what if you don't get one, what can you do? Is it okay that you don't get an internship every summer? What do you think, Kelsey? Yeah, I have heard so much about people getting internships before they're a freshman um, in college. Sometimes it's overwhelming to hear about everybody else's success story, but you can learn so much from environments that are not traditional tech internships as well, of course. But sometimes this is not mentioned. Internships are not everything. There's so many ways to learn the same skills and same values that we just talked about. There's so many other ways. So just because you didn't get an internship doesn't mean that you're a failure and that you're not supposed to be here. There are so many other ways to do it and internships just happen to be a really great test bed for it. Some things that you can be doing if you didn't get an internship but you still wanna have like a productive summer, you can apply for fellowships or research opportunities that are not in the tech industry. You can teach. You can take up a different summer job. You can take online classes or even in-person classes. 
you can read, you can kind of get an education on your own, or you could even work on a personal project. And who knows where this could take you. One summer where I didn't get an internship, I worked on a pet project of mine that I had wanted to build since high school. Um, it was like a game. So I learned a lot about React Native, just like random things, and of course just became more familiar with programming. So this was super, super helpful to me. And in fact, if I had gotten an internship that year, I think I just would have been a totally different person today um, because that challenged me to think outside the box, to pursue something that wasn't really conventional, but ultimately it was super, super rewarding to me. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the way that we've talked about the value of internships is that you get to know yourself really well. Mm -hmm. And so if you do that through personal projects, your hobby, like you said, those are also really great ways, especially if you're in college. Like this just this is just the best time to get to know who you really are, what excites you, what doesn't excite you. And you can do this without an internship. Especially if you're maybe in your first or second year of college, yes, there is definitely an emphasis on kind of the output that you've created and what that output is, but even more valuable than that is figuring out who you are because that sets you up for your third and fourth years where you are going to be applying to full-time jobs and internships and you're just going to know what you want and you're going to be working towards that throughout the school year and that is just a very like self-aware way of going yeah. through it, but those are really really important lessons that you take along with you throughout your entire life. And I think summers are a great time to do that because there's no, no summer vacation. Yeah, no classes. There's no summer vacation when you start working as a software <laughs> engineer sometimes. So taking this time and just slowing down is also totally perfectly fine. So to wrap up, basically internships are all about learning about who you are. It's not the end all be all if you don't have an internship and really it's just what can you get from an internship for yourself that's the really important part. And hopefully the stuff that we've talked about today will be really helpful for you to think about as you look through internships, as you apply to internships and also as you go through them as well. So I hope you like this video. We made another one about how to get a software engineering internship. We provide all of our insights and our experiences in that video, so definitely check that out. That'll also be in the description box down below. And give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. And also go check out Kelsey's channel, which will also be in the description box down below. So thanks for being on the channel. Thank we'll you. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.